Alright guys, so welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this YouTube video, I'm going to be showing you basically how to tell which USB controller you should be using for your PC. Now, what do I mean by this? So on most PCs, there's going to be multiple USB controllers. On some, there might only be one. So for those PCs that have more than one USB controller, this video will help you figure out which one is the best. So that's for people that are on AMD systems. There is a CPU USB controller and there is a USB controller controlled by the chipset on your motherboard. So the CPU is going to be way faster than the chipset USB controller and that's just because it's right on the CPU so the CPU will handle it faster than the chipset. So we want to be on that one and again that's only for AMD. For Intel it's completely different for Intel if there's only one USB controller and that's the Intel extensible USB controller 3.0 or 3.1 depends on what Intel CPU you have but for that one you just connect to that don't use any as media USB controllers and we're gonna figure out what those are here in a second so without further ado let's figure out what type of CPU we have so right click on your task taskbar click task manager go to performance and CPU it should say either AMD or Intel so I'm on AMD so I'm gonna be looking for a CPU USB controller rather than my chipset if you have Intel you're just gonna be looking for your Intel extensible host controller so go to the link in the description to go to hardware info 64 and I use this tool in a lot of my videos and a lot of information is shown in this tool so we're gonna be using it to figure out which USB controller is the best one for our PC so once you go to the link in the description hover over portable hover over free download just click local and it'll start downloading just open it once it's done double click hwinfo64.exe and in my past videos I would say to check one of these but don't check anything just press start and it's gonna examine our whole system and show us a lot of information so you can exit out of this window right here system says summary and then we're just looking at this main window right here so it's gonna say your CPU motherboard memory all we're gonna do is expand bus right here and expand this again it's going to show up with all of these so we're going to expand these bridges right here and there's like an express bus right here we're going to expand this as you can see there's our first usb controller and we're going to keep expanding trying to find the rest of our usb controllers so there's going to be one more down here and yeah so as you can see this usb controller right here this is going to be my chipset usb controller as you can see it says amd 400 series chipset what this means is i'm on a b450 motherboard which is a 400 series chipset so this aligns with the logic of it's on the motherboard not on the cpu and if i scroll down there's the amd matisse slash vermer usb3 xhci controller so bt slash vermer is just the code name for the cpu generation that i have from amd which is 3000 series so i made sure to connect my razor viper mini which is my mouse to the usb controller that's on the cpu and same thing with my apex pro from steel series they're both plugged in to my cpu usb controller now for intel i'm going to show a screenshot of what it's going to look like for you and you just want to make sure you connect it to the intel host controller and that's all you need to do for amd it's kind of more complicated you just need to make sure you're on the non-chip set usb controller so the usb controller that's on your cpu and it's very easy you just look for it make sure you're not connected to the usb controller that has chipset in its name as you can see this one right here i have like stuffed out like does it really matter it's so, like my headset and my wi-fi controller like these don't matter and then my mouse and keyboard which are latency sensitive or my controller if i had one i would plug it in this one right here so just a quick little video on how to do this and hopefully this helped a lot of you i know my past i've made a past video about this but this is way more specific and it should support or all of the motherboards so you'll figure out very fast which usb controller is the cpu if you're on amd and if you're on intel you'll figure out if you're on a intel usb controller or the as media and if you're on the as media don't use that at all that's just like an extra usb controller that comes with certain motherboards or it's like a little card that comes in the motherboard so ignore that don't use as media just make sure you're on the intel host controller so it's pretty much it for all of this and basically if you don't know what to plug in where to plug it in you just have to keep trying figuring out which usb ports in the back of your motherboard align with what so to do this you literally just basically close this out switch some usb ports around open it back up and expand the buses expand everything and make sure that your mouse and keyboard or your controller is plugged into the cpu usb controller if you're on amd if you're on intel it's pretty simple but yeah it's pretty much it for this video guys if you like this drop a like down below so it hits youtube
YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more stuff like this. I drop really helpful videos from time to time. And if you want a full PC optimization service where I'll help you do this and many other things that drastically improve your gameplay, drastically lower your input lag, and drastically lower your latency and give you smoother gameplay, head over to the link in the description, zilli.as.me, book an optimization whenever you're ready, and I'll talk to you very soon whenever you booked. But that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.